Hi! Today I'm going to show you how I create my YouTube videos by recreating and uploading my theme tune. So first off, it should be said that I'm a Windows man. I enjoy its clean and simple interface. It's also very fast. So we use a lot of the native programs that Windows offers. We have Microsoft Video Editor, and we go there and we capture video of ourselves, which I've already done and placed in a folder, Chris screams at 622. So there's the first one. We just want one single thing of my face, so I cut out things that aren't that single face. I'm going to have a pastiche of these as the theme song. So cut that out and, okay, save that. So there's one. So we have to go down and do this with all of them. So we go to number two, and we just want like a... 10 frames sort of thing, so mark, mark, destroy, and again mark, mark, destroy, and we save that, and we go down the whole list, and then we go back to number one, and we go to the end of number one, and then we go insert, and we insert number two, and then we insert two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you'll see they're all back to back like that. So that's step one, and we save that as a file name, which I've already done as Chris is so cool, simple.avi. Now we go to Photoshop, we want to put a title on top. So we do a new file, 1280 by 720 to match the video sizes. Choose a color, I love blue. Okay, very cool. Then put in text, Chris is so cool. Bold outline, make it jazz for fun. Swerve, save. And we'll say this says title hmm, two, because there's already a title apparently. Now we need to make this an animated GIF to add it to the video. So we go to the GIF construction set, we insert a loop, and we insert the image itself, title two, and we turn off 50 mig quantization, save this puppy as image 2.gif, and then we're going to insert it on top of the video back in Microsoft Video Editor. So here we go, Microsoft Video Edit, open our file, which is Chris so cool simple in the Chris Screams at 2622 folder. There we go, and then select the entire video, mark in, mark out, and file, insert, and then we want the animated GIF and GIF to go there and double click. Now, Sweet! Now we save that as Chris is a cool simple too. I like to save every step separately. Great, and now it's time for the audio, my favorite part. Using native media player and sound recorder, we're going to make a four-part harmonious introduction by recording ourselves first like this and saving it as, say, Chris is so cool bass, which I've already done. Uh, so then you put headphones in and then open that bass file in media player and go up to sound recorder, open a new file, which is going to be the baritone. Record, go down and press play. Chris is so cool. And then save this file as baritone. Of course, you won't hear the bass part because you had your headphones in. Now, we do this all along with the four parts. Then we open the bass part, go to mix with file, mix with file baritone. Let's test that one out first. Chris is so cool. Yay! Cool, that works great. So go back to the beginning of the file and then mix these other two files as well. This new program is incredible. A few more years and we won't even have to dig. Chris is so cool. Yeah. Cool. Save that as Chris is so cool all. And we are done with the audio, so we can close these, go back into Microsoft Video Editor, and we're going to add that into the file. So open Chris is so cool simple 2, and file insert, uh, change it to the audio folder and audio and let's test it out. Chris is so cool, yay yay! Okay, so that's done. So we save this in the root folder of the project as Chris is so cool. Final! This 8.3 file name thing isn't really that big of a deal. Some people just like to complain. Now it's time to upload the file. We can't use Netscape Navigator or Internet Explorer because of flash limitations. And some of you may scoff at that, but then millions of you are carrying around $500 iPhones in your pocket with the same limitation. So, you know. Anyways, we upload that the file along with a video tag file, which YouTube reads and then fills in information. We go to FTP and open ftp.users.youtube.com, sign in with username and password. And you'll see all my videos from the past. There they are. Woo! Now we're going to make a directory of our new video called My Theme Tune. Go to that directory and upload the video that we just made. Chris is so cool final. We do a little bit of time travel. And it's uploaded. That's cool. Now we send the video info file, the video tag.info file. That's uploaded. We double check that they're both there. And as long as they're both there, <laughs> YouTube is ready to process it and uh, send it to the world. So that's how we do it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Have a great day. Bye.